guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel i am ivy aku and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back so this video is just all about how i spend my day here at the studio i didn't really wake up and plan on vlogging today but as i got here i just changed my mind and decided to vlog about how my day is going to go by so presently it's 1 pm i opened today so early like um 10 o'clock and i've done already so many things that I couldn't or didn't record but I'm just going to start recording what I'm going to be doing from now to the end of the day so please keep watching so apart from all the other things I'll be doing or I'll have to do today I have five weeks to mount today and I'm determined and I have to finish them today I'm currently on the first so let's just get working so the first week i had to do for the day was actually a frontal week so i'm just sewing down the frontal now to the week cap and then after sewing the frontal i went ahead to start sewing the hair onto the week cap After sewing all the waves onto the wig cap, I now went ahead to cut off the excess wig cap which was under the frontal and that was basically it about the first week. After doing the second, third and fourth week, I had to do makeup for a bride and her sisters. Actually, it was a Muslim bride. It was such a nice experience working with them. They actually wanted it so mild and nude because as we all know, their tradition and custom doesn't permit any form of exaggeration <laughs> i started by applying a primer on the bride's face and then i went in to apply foundation i'm just smoothing it out now with a beauty blender next i applied a little bit of concealer to just highlight her face a little bit and then i blended it out to be nice and smooth And then I applied setting powder over all the places which I actually applied concealer and then I went ahead to set all the other areas of her face and then I went ahead to apply some contour to bring more life to her face and next I went into filling her brows lightly because her brows were already in shape And then I went in with some concealer to conceal her brows. Next, I used the same concealer on her eyelids to prime her eyes for the eyeshadow. And for the eyeshadow, I gave her a very, very nude look with a little bit of shimmer because she wanted something really, really simple and light without lashes. Next, I went in with an eyeliner to just line her eyes a little bit and bring more life to them and then i went in with the mascara to comb out her lashes next with the use of a fluffy brush i went in with some finishing powder to just brush off all the excess powder and blend everything into place Next, I went in with some fixing spray and for her lips, I lined her lips with a brown liner and I applied a nude color all over her lips and then I applied some lip gloss. Now, I'm just highlighting her nose a little bit and her cheekbones. And that was it about the look. As you can all see, it was a really, really subtle and very simple look.
After finishing the look, her sisters went ahead to complete her look by wearing her scarf and that was it. Isn't she really beautiful and simple? <laughs> And after finishing her makeup, I went ahead to do the makeup for her sisters as well. They also opted for very simple looks without lashes. And then I went ahead with the makeup for the other sister. After I was done with the makeup, I rounded up with the wigs I had to do for the day and then I had to start measuring. It's always like a tradition, whenever I do each wig, I have to measure them. Because sometimes there are errors which you can't see or trace on a mannequin's head. So you need to wear them on your hair so you'll be able to trace exactly where the errors are coming from. Like just what I'm doing right now. So that was the first wig I made for the day. This is the second. And then this is the third week I made for the day. And this is the fourth. And this is the fifth. So I actually plan on doing five weeks today, but I ended up doing six. Isn't that just really, really great? Coupled with everything I had to do today, I still succeeded. So it's already um, 
7 p.m. and I'm about to close for the day. So I think I'm going to deliver some of the wigs tomorrow. I'm just going to close now, go back home, prepare dinner, and that will be it for my day. So these were finally all the wigs I succeeded in making for the day. Locking up now. I'm carrying the baby on my back. <laughs> so I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching and see you all in my next video.